Eating San Diego is celebrating the grand opening of its marketplace. It's open to anyone in need of food assistance. This all comes as grocery and gas prices rise across the country, making it harder for people to make ends meet. CBS 8's Chris Grow is in Sorrento Valley with a closer look at how much we are paying for just the basic needs. Times are definitely tough right now, but something like this can essentially be the lifeline for families that are struggling. In fact, during this ribbon cutting ceremony, we heard uh, the leader of Feeding San Diego speaking directly to that, that before they offered this marketplace, they had people who would show up who needed that food immediately, and they had to rely on that emergency supply. Eventually, they started that marketplace in 2022, but now fast forward to today where they are cutting the ribbon here and uh, some, some celebrating the expansion here of this new marketplace, which is entirely stocked here with such healthy food. Now we got a chance to go inside before this, and these are a, a number of different offerings here for nutritious grocery items. And again, uh, this is available for those in the community once a month. They are open four days a week. They're staffed by volunteers and they really, again, uh, do serve so many people in our county who are suffering and have to deal with food insecurity. Now, the latest consumer price index report that came out that while grocery prices have stayed relatively flat, gas prices are going up. And especially here in San Diego County, we're paying, excuse me, more than $5 for a gallon of regular gas. We know that living costs are extremely expensive. We know that that chips away at people's grocery budgets. Uh, but what we uncovered while we were here was that there was a very unique story here. A, a, a young man named Isaiah, he goes to UCSD and through a program, actually spends his time working here as a staff member in the marketplace. But as he told us, one of the most uh, endearing things about this is not necessarily uh, the reward of being able to go to school and, and being able to spend time in this marketplace, but seeing the families, the kids that come in, because he himself as a kid had to utilize a program like this. When there's, there's children that come in and then they're just like so happy to see all the stuff that they can pick because they're just like, oh, I want that, oh, I want that. And then I'm just like, it always puts a smile on my face, just seeing them be happy about the stuff that they're able to get access to. And again, as for this marketplace, open up four days a week. That's going to be Tuesday through Friday, starting at 9 a.m.